Okay, so I wanted to do a brief video on a tool I've been using recently, and that is uh, Scent. Uh, Scent, of course, is one of the suckless utilities. It's, I think it's supposed to be short for presentation, uh, but I'm not entirely sure. But it's basically a very minimalist framework for, yeah, doing sort of slide presentations. Um, it doesn't have many dependencies. You need, uh, you know, this uh, Xlib, XFT, and... Uh, uh, Farbfeld, which I think is some other suckless utility for images or something like that. I'm not actually familiar with it myself. Um, anyway, I actually downloaded it here. Let me show you um, what the source files are going to look like. Um, and of course, you can make and then make install it to actually install it. Um, so they give you an example of what the actual, um, what it actually looks like, uh, or it gives you, you an example presentation uh, that you can go ahead and use. So if you just go to the folder you built it in and run sent example, um, it actually pulls up uh, a presentation you can go through. Um, so you can have images, they can be on one slide, you can have pretty much any Unicode character. Uh, but the thing about it is it mostly has non-features in the sense that uh, it's supposed to be very minimalist. There's no animations, no fancy stuff. Um, basically, it auto-sizes all of your text. Uh, let me show you actually what the source file to this looks like. So I'm going to open up this file example that they have. And the presentation we were just looking at just looks like this, right? Um, so each paragraph here, so this is going to be its own slide. This is going to be its own slide. Uh, this is as well. Um, so... It treats every paragraph as a slide in itself, and there's no kind of special formatting. If you want something moved over a little bit, you basically, like this for example, this is just spaced over. Um, and that's really all you have to do. Um, so there are, of course, big advantages to this in that like you don't have to... I, I actually very recently did a presentation in this. And it's nice just to only have to worry about the text. Um, again, there are no frills, and you know, actually uh, they say it here. Uh, so slides with exuberant amounts of lines or characters produce rendering glitches and prevent you from holding bad presentations. And I think that's sort of the thought behind it. Uh, it prevents you from having paragraphs and paragraphs of text or lots of charts all over the place. Um, if you want to add something in like a chart or something else, um, if you really have to, it's, it'd probably be easiest just to like make that an image and import the image. Um, so let me pull this up again. Um, so you can have images, but they have to be one on a slide and it takes up the whole screen. Now also notice, I think I said this before, like if you just have one word or so on a slide, it's automatically going to size that to the, you know, whatever the slide is. So it's not going to be like up here or something like that. It automatically sort of centers it and puts it in a, a good position and good size. Um, so it's really good for making like impactful presentations if you want to have just, uh, I don't know, something pretty simple or something. Uh, it, I think it does well in the fact that it makes you actually focus on the content of your presentation and you use the slides for emphasis or sort of, uh, you know, it, it, I guess, decreases your reliance on them. Now, of course, like any suckless utility, uh, you can change some things about it in the config file. Um, so by default, it has a white background and a black foreground. We can actually change these. Um, I'm just going to switch the order. You don't have to change the comments, of course. So if I remake this um, and reinstall it, I actually prefer to have um, have it without, uh, excuse me. Um, I prefer to have it with a back, black background and white text. Uh, of course, you're going to have to change the uh, image backgrounds or whatever, but if you're you know using them with white backgrounds. Um, but yeah, I just find it very useful. Um, you can change some other things in the config files, uh, fallback fonts, uh, line spacing, stuff like this, and uh, shift the keys if you want. Uh, by default, it has like up, down arrows and stuff, and it also have, has Vim keys. Um, so that's pretty much all I need, so I didn't really add anything to that. Um, but anyway, I encourage you to check this out, not just because, so it, it, of course, it, as a suckless utility, it doesn't come with a bunch of features, but I think if there's anything I can tell people who always make presentations, it'd be to uh, use less features in them. Like, j it's better to rely on just a smaller amount of text, and I don't just think this is a nice little program, to, it's a nice minimal program to check out, but it also gets you in a good habit of actually having a, having a presentation that doesn't have a bunch of BS in it. Um, so I definitely recommend it. I have it. I think I did it a second ago, but um, I went ahead. Uh, where's the example file? 
Oh, I'm on it right now. Um, I actually put a Vim shortcut, so whenever I press F8, um, it pulls up sent. That's, you know, literally just running a command uh, through Vim. Uh, it's probably a better way to do it, but I, I don't really care. So anyway, I encourage you to check this thing out just because it, again, it's minimalist and it, importantly, it cuts a bunch of the crap from your presentations and it's going to encourage you to like make presentations that are more useful. Um, so I definitely encourage everyone to check it out. So I'll see you guys next time. And I think I might put up a presentation of me presenting in this just so you can see what it looks like. But uh, yeah, so see you next time.